Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am playing Nexomon Extinction Episode 2. Now, if you think, man, this is where, this is rather not where we were last time, you are correct. Well, you see, when you have your hop key to stop recording as K, and for Nexomon, one of the, you know, A, B buttons is K, you in a 30 minute recording after about two minutes when you press K for the first time. So that's what happened. Not fun. Also, I'm trying something a little bit. First off, I'm, I may sound a little different. I'm having to record somewhere slightly different. Uh, I'm trying to decrease the amount of echo um, all I can. So sorry about that. I mean, I've even got stuff around it to kind of minimize the echo. Um, I'm limited uh, when it comes to this today. Also, I'm trying something different, which I'll explain in a second. But first, I have to say, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, you're already here. I put out retro game guides, retro game gameplay, retro game content, and monster taming content, which sometimes, co sometimes coincides. And this honestly looks like a game that could have been produced. I mean, it obviously looks like a game. It plays like a game that's produced in 2020. But the aesthetic... Yeah, almost reminds me of, what is it, like Maple Story esque uh, So definitely some retro feels to it. That's something different. Uh, you see that lower right thing? That's what I'm talking about, different. So we'll wait for that to clear back up. Okay. You might see that every so often. What I'm trying to do is, last time I played, there was a lot of FPS drops. And I don't want that to happen. Uh, technically, I do have a PC that I can run this on. The problem is, unless you want to hear what sounds like a jet engine the whole time, you're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to do that. Um, also, if you want to support this channel, go uh, shop at Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle uh, is a place that you can buy games. They'll give you the keys to it, and it don't you donate to charity. Uh, like I think, um, you know, I was reading like one month they raised over two hundred thousand for charity, things like that. So if you buy, you can decide how much you give. You tip Humble Bundle, which goes to charity. And if you go through my link at Nick Sinard, S-I-N-A-R-D, so that's nicksinard.com forward slash Humble Bundle. That's one thing. No hyphens, no nothing. So just nicksinard.com forward slash Humble Bundle. You'll also be supporting me, and you'll pay nothing extra at all. And you'll be supporting charity. So games, charity, supporting content creators, I think that's a pretty good combination, which is why I picked Humble Bundle. What's different about this gameplay, which I'm going to get straight into once it stops this, is that I had FPS drops, massive FPS drops last time. So I wanted to try to stream off of my super loud PC, which I have to get somebody over, uh, one of my cousins over to help me fix. <sighs> um... Three of the sensors have gone bad, so it, it, the temperature readings are either 121 degrees Celsius or, within half a second, negative 91 degrees Celsius. So it's not letting me put the fans on whisper mode, and it is acting like it's about to catch fire. Uh, and it's got massive um, fans. Massive, super loud fans. The power supply, uh, if I could quieten the actual computer fans and just have power supply fans, it would still sound like a jet engine. It's crazy. Anyways, I'll go ahead and show you my team. Tomorrow, Skunk Cute. Now, I, I'll show you what I actually caught and what I traded for. So, I'm going to do database. Let's go down. All right, first off, if it's blue and upright, I've caught it. So, I've got Claudie. Thought I could just hold it down and it would go. I was incorrect. I have Stinger. Again, I thought I could just uh, hold it down, and that's what I would have to do. It would keep going down. Anyways, I have Rubby, which if I'm right, I've already traded away. There's a place I know in the future. If I've not traded yet, I can trade it. I have Ploriol. If you see, they got some looking like some McDonald's French fries that it likes. There's one in particular I want to show you because I was able to trade it on this bridge, which I'm going to go back and show you uh, something. Um, part of... Nexomon's humor, which I love. And they don't 
kill you with it. Like, it's not a beat you over the head thing, which can be irritating. Cruff. So I got Singletti. But Cruff. I traded him. For what? Well, let me show you. Oh, cute. This. The Golden Nexo Trap. A perfect Nexo Trap that can trap any Nexomon no matter what. This is a Master Ball. You actually can get Golden Nexo Traps quite frequently. I'm not saying spend them each time you see a Nexomon. I am saying you're going to get more than one. And this, there's many people that trade like this. So, I also have Nexo Trap, Plant Nexo Trap, and Mineral Trap. So, what these special, um, of course this one's 100%, but what these do, the Plant and, ne and Mineral, it increases your chance to catch a Mineral Pokemon, a Mineral Nexomon, and a Plant Nexomon. Let's go. So we have also these Synergy Cores, which are just miniature experience shares. And right now, I don't want to attach them to any of them, to be quite honest. I don't... I really don't want to keep Skunkute. So we'll be trading that. Also, there's my shards I have now, my uh, food, and a Mineral Whistle, which I think I did not get to show you all the first episode. A Mineral Whistle uh, increases uh, the chance to trap using Nexo Traps, um, Nexomon by 3%, and it's stackable. So you can get multiple of these and it increases, and it's for every type. You can get different types, dragon, not dragon, um, wind, plant, fire, water, stuff like that. And of course I have Revive, Anti-Paralyze, that's Anti-Paralyze, Aether, things like that. Which by the way, potions, Aether, Revive, all that stuff, despite what I've seen in an, uh, a review, which was like a Nintendo channel, like, a, you know, not an official one, but a pro Nintendo channel, which I love Nintendo, don't get me wrong, tried to act like that was from Pokemon, no, that's like, Final Fantasy had this kind of stuff, so, let's get on with it, I'm going to show you something real fast though, part of Nexomons, look at that, look at that. 94, 95, 96. This is the best spot to play. Anyways, they're just playing on a steel beam. Steel construction beam. So let's talk to this woman. I forgot what her name is. Emily. Thank goodness you're here, Retro Games. Remarkably impatient friends went ahead. The capital's north. Our guild is at the heart of the city. Please don't deviate from our destination. You kids will underestimate the predicament. Uh, really underestimate the predicament of our world. So... I could go, and I don't want to go as far off the main quest as I do in my main game. I do want to finish this, I, you know. Um, so, let's just jump into it. Scratic? I sound like Ruckus right then from Paladins. What the? Blooming Spores. Missed. Awesome. Anyways, I'm going to be doing more gameplay like this, like I said, so make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm planning to play the Decoromon, uh, oh, oh. I'm planning on playing the Coromon demo, looking promising. I've already did a patch quest, um, I'm about to sneeze, excuse me. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I've done a patch quest video already, although I still have to make the commentary and stuff, I had to make that on my PC and I think many of you all will find patch quest listen I thought I could outspeed him I don't know why I thought that uh, many I think many of you all will find patch quest quite interesting uh, what else do I have um, there's another one of course I'm gonna be playing more Pokemon red randomizer in fact once I finish up some odds and ends today I'm going to just like turn out Pokemon Red randomizer videos. I want to beat Pokemon Red. Go ahead and just beat it. I love the randomizer uh, part of the game. All right, so you can go in people's houses as well. Now, the thing with going in people's houses is sometimes they'll just kick you out if your reputation is not high enough or you aren't there. Um, like once you've reached a certain part of the story, they'll be like, "What? What are you doing? Get out of my house!" <laughs> so makes more sense. Anyways, you're still stealing stuff. 
So it was an ether. And here's three Nexo traps. Awesome. So let's go down. Let's talk to this woman. The road leads to Outlands. Mad Nexomon. Bandits and tyrants wreak havoc over there. You should stay safe, kid. Go to Perum and you'll be fine. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a reason why I, had to go, why I wanted to go to Perum. Besides just the journal. I mean, besides just the uh, main quest. Emily literally just told us not to go there. But sure, what could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. Again, next I'm on. Humor. All right. I want to battle trainers. I want to do quests. I want to get a little bit of money. Uh, so I can go back and get those 50 coin Nexo traps. Don't forget about those. Alright, showing us this area a little bit. You think, how can I get to that treasure chest? Don't worry, you'll eventually be able to get to it. I was wondering that until I finally was able to get to it. Alright. Let's go up here. Heal our Nexomon. 50 coins. Awesome, that's a Nexo trap. That's a, that's a literal free Nexo trap. Ever heard of elemental whistles? Hmm? Whistles increase your capture chance when facing Nexomon of a certain type, and you can stack the whistles. If you're interested, I wouldn't mind selling you a water type one. So this is pretty much all my coins, almost, and this is six Nexo traps, but it's worth it. Long run, go ahead and get this out of the way. You're going to be thanking... Uh, you, you, there's tons of quests that you can get whistles. I recommend you see one, do one, if it's reasonable. You know, don't spend, uh, like, three hours necessarily when you can keep going with the game and you'll eventually be able to come back and get it. A single whistle won't help much, but as you travel, you'll probably collect quite a few of them. Well, when you encounter so many Nexomon, 3% chance itself without considering stackability, that's a lot. So I heard that there are also dragon whistles. Oh, so there was dragon whistles. I'm an idiot. Uh, specifically for those beasts in the Drake Isles. Which I do want to go to Drake Isles. There's a potion. <coughs> Alright. Hey, excuse me. Are you a guild tamer? Do you have a moment? Uh, what's the matter? A child from the capital city of Param somehow managed to squeeze out of the city walls. And now she's missing. Whoa, that's a big deal. Huh? Yes, right. Uh, she could be anywhere in the Outlands. We're asking all adventurers to keep an eye out. I wish that I could provide more information, but this is all we have. Alright, maybe we'll find the kid as we travel. I bet that there's a quest reward for finding her retro games. Uh, right, but surely rescuing a child is enough reward. Let's get going, retro games, before someone beats us to it. So it's 400 coins. That's a super elixir and a destruction core, which increases our or destruction core in one, which will slightly increase our attack. That's a percentage, I believe. Let's enter this. Yes. See, again, once again, rather, NPCs don't talk all the same. Be careful. While next one becomes stronger as you progress on your adventure. Still, I suppose there's a limit to how much you, they can grow. But don't underestimate them. The outlands are always dangerous. Right, because it scales. So this is uncommon. Actually, I've already used. Okay, that's fine. Shoot, I thought I got blown my nose. Pincho. <coughs> Oh my god, excuse me. It's become that time of year again here where I live. Twenty year I mean twenty coins on twenty years. Glazed cake, of course. Watch out, mate. I'll see you out here. I'll be sure to challenge you to a battle. Tamers like me are always looking for a good brawl. Camps and cities are a sort of neutral ground, I guess. Um I really want to keep it's going cute. Yeah, I said I would. I said I would. I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Let's battle what looks like red. Hey, you. There. Find me. So, red. Dinja. Ultra rare. Spore. So, deal high damage. 10%. I'm going to try to go for the poison, even though it's just 10%. Seven, six. Oh, it would've been nice to, you know. Oh, awesome. 
switch out. Oh, now my nose is running. This is uncool. All right, so deals mineral damage, 60, 56 speed. Deals physical damage, 60. Oh, crit goes down. Okay. All right, I'll stick with that. Oh, my. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well. Oh, well. I really need it. Ugh. I hate, 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 hate using potions. I can usually get around using potions. Even when I'm getting in later game, I can get around using potions. Are you kidding? Gotta heal again. Anyways, he's gonna level up. Skunk Cute would have also. So, increased by 2 HP, 1 attack, 0 defense, 1 speed. Fair enough. You're certainly fit to be a guild tamer. All right, carry on with your business, Retro Games. Also, I again, I love, love, love this. Uh, oh, sorry. I love this healing system. So let's get straight into the grass. See, Scaratic. All right. Don't kill him. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, twenty percent. All right, let's get this. J J L J K J L K. All oh, before I think three point five seconds. That's fine. Cause you know what you can do. All right, there we go. Feed him a peach. Didn't enjoy it very much, but it doesn't matter because it increased our <coughs> chances by 5%. That's all that matters. So K K I K L K I K. Got him. Scaratic. Charges electricity from objects it locates in the ground. Now, I'm not going to raise him. There's some others I'm willing to raise, but I don't want to raise him. And yes, I will go get that item right here. An orange, awesome. Whoa. There we go. So let's see what this guy's saying. Oh, excuse me, buddy. There's a bunch of wild Nexomon here. Way more than I expected. I already ran out of Nexo traps. I ain't going back to the city. No way. I'll pay you really well for a few traps if you got any. All right, so it's a super great. Um, from just three Nexo traps are about 150 coins. Um, if you go and do what I said last episode, otherwise it can be way more. So I'll pretty much get five Nexo traps out of three, and I get a protection core, which I'll show you what protection cores will do. Thank you for your Nexo traps. I, it's never a bad idea to stock up while you're in a city. You're right. So, anyways, inventory. Over to these. Boost the defense stat by 4%. Okay, well, you go to your team. You pick, say, Mara. 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 And you put them on. So you see the defense is 8. Now it's plus 1. <coughs> it's not that high of a defense. Uh, you know. As you get a higher de defense, it would go up as well. I'm going to grab this. And I'm not going to battle. I'm going to go to the right instead. Fuck this guy. Oh, watch out, watch out. If you wander too far, you'll be hitting the frozen tundra. Did you know your next mon might unexpectedly get a frozen status effect over there? You'll need a lot of antifreezes. Lucky for you, I'm carrying a little extra. So, this is a good deal. If you got the coinage, do it. You're gonna be so glad I give you some interfreeze. But still, watch out. The weather isn't that uh, that great pretty much. <laughs> Sorry about sniffling. Can't help it much. Oh, picture. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna go up this way. Is there anything? Making sure there's nothing. Okay. Okay, I'm, there's a bottom left. Oh, poil. Blooming spores. 
demotivated. Which I like that. I actually like that. Alright, do you want more tech? Demotivated, okay. Only 7%. So you know what? Skunk you. Rock Knight. Might hit him again for probably less than 6. Okay, 5. Okay, so normal type. Only 27%, but I'll take it. Okay, KJ, J, K, L, K, J. Once you get into the uh, <coughs> rhythm of it, it's not as hard as you think. I draw board next to my dress as a sailor. Always ready for action and extremely loyal. Not yet. Not yet. Not the one. Nope, nothing. 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 Okay. Oh. Hmm? Are you guild tamers? Show me your badges. You're not registered tamers yet, are you? Sorry, no fish, only fish. Why? What's wrong? The frozen thunder is under siege again. Whoa, I heard that people have it really rough up there. They do, yes. The guild is trying to keep things under control, but the hordes of mad Nexomon grow every day, not to mention the tyrants and bandits. Maybe once you join the guild, you'll be able to help out. So as far as you can go in that respect. Zumble. Blooming spores. Ten. Wish it would have been a poison, but that's fine. Switch out to it's going cute. Oh, only three. That's not bad. Eight. Awesome. All right. I'm just gonna use peach again. Because I had a duplicate of it. Thirty-one percent. So let's get this. L L J L I L I. Messed up there. I still think I got there before three point five seconds. And as I play, you're going to see why I say stock up on Nexo traps. K L K K L I J I. Man. Awesome. Zumble. Excuse my nose again. The next one I'll navigate and communicate with its hive through two intents, which channel positive and negative electric charges, respectively. So I'm actually going to keep this one. Since I'm going to keep it, I'm going to do this as well. This is common, but you know what? That's fine. No, it's Synergy Core 3 on it. Some really serious stuff. All right, let's get back into this. Poil. Yes. So I'm going to go back hill. I'm going to challenge a few trainers. Or a few guild tamers. Sorry. I'm going to go back. Do, 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 do. Hill. Yep. All right. Let's go down from here. Get this. And battle. Hey, excuse me. Would you mind fighting me in a Nexomon battle? It's pretty boring to fight wild Nexomon all day. Wouldn't you agree? The one thing about Nexomon, I do think they got to get some of their... Um, oh, goose. I do think they got to get some of their EXP stuff uh, fixed. Um, so, for example, if you fight a pretty much higher level or like a big... I'm just say a Nexomon that you would think, hey, I'm going to get a substantial amount of EXP from. You don't. That's the one thing I got to say they got fixed, definitely. All right, miss. Awesome. Now, let me get the poison. It'll be better. Oh, okay. That's fine. Eight. All right. Come on, baby. All right. Just use the faster attack. Our cost, mega rare. For seven, I'm sick. I don't know what sick does. I wouldn't know what poison does, but it doesn't matter because apparently it doesn't want me to. Use po it poisoned it the last time. That's cool. And as you can see, there goes uh, pretty much your experience shares, the synergy cores. So there I go. 
leveling up Mara again. Skunk Cute, Skunk Cute is going to follow, and Zumble went up 21. Haha, <laughs> superb. That was so much fun. Retro Games HQ, is that your name? Yep. That heals you. I think I've already showed you that. Let's get this as well so I can get that item. Mama, aren't you exploring a little too far from the beautiful safety of Paramdew? There is, is no playground for a small fry. Why don't you turn back now? Hmm? Being a tamer doesn't suit you. Oh. Let's screw you. Eight. Six. Eight. So I got one more attack in. Six. No poison. That's fine. So I'm switching over to Skunk Cute. Ten. Okay. Oh, oh. oh thank God. Basil, Mega Rare. Three, five, okay. Okay. Three, seven. I'm going to switch to Zumble. After this battle, I'm going to end this episode. So make sure you subscribe. Again, if you want to... Uh, Devil Slayers. If you want to get video games and help charity and help me content creator then just go to nicksonar.com for slash humble bundle i'll have it in the description below of course i'm still not done yet let's see let's go ahead and just get double slash in it costs 20 okay that was not worth it what's the thing it's supposed to be a power 105 actually 85 stamina 20 speed 24 crit 10 um also you can 10 percent chance to inflict demotivate i don't think it's that good Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's good for higher level next on one. A lot of things are going on, I guess, sir. So, uh, Skunk Cute's going to go up. Zumble almost went up. Skunk Cute leveled up. Awesome. W what? How could uh, nobody me beat me like that? G get out of my face. I may be weaker than you, but you'll see soon that the Outlands are forgiving, unforgiving to everyone. Yeah, whatever. Super Revive. Awesome. Anyways, that's all for this episode. Make sure you check out the next episode, which I'm about to do right now. I want to get a couple of episodes uh, made, so there's no chance of me being like, oh, crap, I don't have a made. I want to show you all next time on. I want to show you all all these cool monster taming games that are coming out. Really? Oh, and there's an item while I'm talking. I'll go get it. Uh, oh, pretty much Pokemon has failed. I mean, you've always had Yokai Watch and a few others. You have Monster Rancher, but even Digimon was, a lot of people thought it was subpar for the designs and stuff. I know there's some people that loved Digimon in a way. Yu Gi Oh! I don't know if it is. I mean, it was in that same space at the same time. You know, there's a few. I mean, technically, yeah, like. There's, I I anyways, the point is, there's a ton coming out right now. And in fact, I'm going to make a video later about all the ones uh, all the monster taming games but before i do um let me just name them off so of course nexomon is one of them all these like new indie monster taming games so you have nexomon anaton that's about anatons is about to come out monster crown which is early access tam tam early access but they have hard dates for when they're going to release kindred fates which is interesting because if i'm right you're if you don't save them they're just like gone they're dead uh, Moncraft, that's the working title. Vision Head Studios, uh, look out for that one. Go look up Vision Head Studios on Twitter. They're very interesting. What they have so far is freaking amazing. It's amazing. Single dev. And, yeah, so it's, it's insane. Disc Monsters, which is already out that you can go get, which I'm going to be playing at some point. Monster Sanctuary. Costume Kingdom, which, uh, I think they're about to release October 1st, I think. Necromancer's Gift, which is interesting. Uh, it's ins he says he's inspired, or they whatever it may be. One I don't know. Anyways, he says he's inspired uh, by Nuzlocke's. Um Masan in a bottle. M e s s a n. Ova Magica, which for some people it's gonna be interesting. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna play it. Abomi Nation. That's A B O M I Nation. That's very interesting. Mithran, as in Myth and R E N together. Patch Quest, 
which I already played. I'm going to be playing a little bit more, hopefully. Cassette Beasts, which is interesting. And Runimals, which is in development still. So, that's all the ones I've looked at. Of course, technically, like, there's a Monster Hunter Stories, which is more of a monster taming than a monster hunting game that's coming out. Uh, I think it's Monster Hunter Rise or something like that. It's coming out for Nintendo Switch. They just did a reveal for it, like, two days ago or something. Anyways... That's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.